you know. Now, I'm not talking about the weather storm. You know, I love sleeping in a storm. And my wife loves to see. Listen, it could be 92 degrees with that storm. She said, baby, can we open up the windows? I just want to hear them. And I'm like, no, it, it's going to be real humid. And I, I have personal summers now. You know, I have my own weather going on. But I'm talking about who sleeps in the midst of a personal storm. Mm. Who can sleep when the husband just said, I want a divorce. Or the wife said, I'm leaving. Who can sleep when children do things that they do? Who can sleep when they're out there and you don't know where they are? Who can sleep when they gave you notice that they're about to shut down the job? Who can sleep through all of that? It's a personal storm. That personal storm does not play fair. Because you're left with the wetness and the wind and the rocking of your life because these things can change your life. They change the path of your life. Jesus is asleep. They're out there scared. Have you been scared in your soul? Not knowing what to do, what's going to happen next? Wondering who you can call? Mm -hmm. And oftentimes there's nobody to call. Have you ever made a call in your storm and you found out that the person you called was in their own? They said, you know what? I, I hear you, girl. I I'm going through something just like that, too. But my husband decided he was going the other way. How can they help you when they're in their own storm? Oftentimes, your storm is an indication of prayer. It's time to pray. It's time to get alone with God. It's time for you to activate your faith instead of activating your fear. It's easier to become fearful in a storm because some storms we've never been in before. Before you were divorced, had you ever been divorced? You didn't know what that felt like. Before you had this job, did you know what it was like to be fired from that job? Before you had this money, did you know what it was like you know what I mean? I mean, it is important that we look at each individual storm, individual storm and deal with it individually. But most people, when a storm comes in a particular area in their lives, what they do is take that storm and create other storms. This storm was a cloud burst, they call it in Florida. It just came five minutes and was gone. But the storm you created lasted for six months. Because you decided to become the person that creates a storm in your own life. We have to be careful because all the time it's not the devil. Sometimes we talk too much. Sometimes we don't say nothing. Sometimes we punch. And, 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 and if you look at this, these are all the ingredients of a perfect storm in life. You know, th this is a, a crazy story, but I think it's applicable here. My, my brother, who's long been divorced to his wife, before they were intimate, she would create a storm. She wanted him to fight. Stupid. Stupid. And then after they would fight for the next month because she created a fight. Listen, we've got to be careful in how we handle our lives. Look, you have a storm at work. Come on, somebody. And let, let me see your hand. If you ever had a storm at work, mm -hmm. man, let me tell you. And here it is. You have a storm at work and you bring that storm cloud to your house. Before you know that everybody in that house is wet with your mess. The devil just came in there and just did a hurricane in your crib. Because we don't understand. We've got power over the storms in our life. Y'all didn't hear me. I said we have power over the storms in our lives. One of the things that I try so hard to do, and I am not as successful as I'd like to be, is that I've got so much going on. My wife says, oh, honey, I don't know how you do all the stuff you do. I'm a super multitasker, but I try and keep things from overflowing the borders of another thing. Because you can't mix all of that stuff. Because if you do, you're going to...
going to create a perfect storm. And I'm telling you, there have been people who have created a perfect storm that has torn their family apart, that has ripped their children right out of their lives, have ripped their marriages asunder, and have messed them up in their minds because they did not recognize that this had nothing to do with that. Are you with me? Jesus said in, well, actually, he said 38. 